morning guys and welcome oh, i need to stay in the sunlight this is really aggressive welcome to weekly vlogmas 2 today is december 8th once again i have things to shoot this is not the norm now with the vlog here for vlogmas as you guys can probably tell it's been a busy season for me so i figured i'm gonna start off the day before we head out because we're trying to figure out um our little dji osmo it's not syncing with the phone and i want to do one of those like transitions behind ew there's hair in my hand it's gross i want to do a transition with it and we need to stabilize but it's not behaving so peter's there in the background you probably can't see him because it's super dark right now but i'm gonna go ahead and open my advent calendars with you guys today to share what's inside before we head out and go shoot some pics and videos so starting off with today we're gonna open up tea pegs number eight yeah today is december 8th so let's open up this one right here it's be bright in here it's so aggressive in the sun sometimes okay so number eight says don't dunk and run hi boo boo big leaves need a little longer to work their magic we suggest brewing for at least three minutes and ooh, this is my favorite tea dark dealing earl gray well earl gray is my favorite I, I don't know the difference between one earl gray to the next so i'll just have to trust that this one tastes good hi boo boo you want some this one is, it has a cute little doggy on the front of it. How adorable is that? Good timing that Kobe came in for this one. So thanks for this one, Tea Bigs. I'm actually going to be drinking this one tonight because I love Earl Grey. I'm just gonna save it for breakfast tomorrow morning so I can have like an English breakfast tea. Well, that's a different type of tea, but I don't know. We'll see, I'll update you if I end up having that one tonight. Next one is going to be the Body Shop one. I'm gonna open up and see if I can find eight in here. It was one of the ones at the tops little snowman he's a cutie are you back do you want to open one do you want to open one sir i love you too this one smells nice already i'm excited for this one. Ooh. okay it's another face mask oh okay this is my favorite body shop face mask it's the himalayan charcoal one tiny little pots oh well, here's this one tiny little pot similar to the other one i'll actually be bringing this one back with me to ottawa because i actually like how small and portable this one is this one is impeccable if you have oily skin and you should try out some pimples or get rid of some excess oil in your skin and this is going to be the one that does it for you i slather this all over my face and I like to like relax read a book and it does wonders my skin is so good afterwards it isn't overly dry at your skin so it feels like your skin's tight but it's still enough that it feels like it did the job and you're not oily Anymore. So really really recommend this one and I will definitely be bringing this one back for you to Ottawa I currently have my camera and tripod sitting on the top of the Zara Jo Malone one as a stand because I couldn't find a stand in front of me So I'm not gonna move the camera to show you the box, but I'm gonna very carefully open this up Hopefully I don't tumble the camera Okay, eight it's not in the spot where I have to move it too much So let's open this one up and see what's inside. Oh, it's tight this one. All right, so number eight So this one is once again a vetiver pompa mousse. I think that was the one that I got from day one yeah that was the fragrance that i got from day one so i already know i'm gonna love it this one is the fragrance body lotion i'm gonna sniff it again just because i liked it so much last time yay that fresh grapefruit smells good okay put that on my hands okay now i smell the grapefruit i'm really happy it reminds me of when i used to work at fruits and passions in high school because i had all those like grapefruity scents but i love it it's so much more strong and it's like I don't know how to explain it. It smells like a real grapefruit versus a fake grapefruit. Do you guys know the difference between like fake watermelon and the smell of real watermelon? Like they don't smell alike whatsoever at all, but we've programmed ourselves to believe that fake watermelon is watermelon, but there's a difference. It doesn't actually, anyway. I'm getting ahead of myself. I really like this one. I probably will be trying to bring back a bunch of like small travel size things when I go with me to Ottawa so I don't have to pack an entire bag full of stuff. So we'll probably pack this one because it smells amazing. We're gonna be there for about like 10 days. And then also this little charcoal mask. So I have, all of my favorite goodies together with me without an entire backpack stuff full of stuff but that's it for today's advent calendars i love these that i opened up today we are going to pack up our stuff i'm going to check in with peter to see if he was able to stabilize the gimbal and then we're going to head out and shoot the content crossing my fingers i don't get too cold today when we shot the stuff last night at distillery it was frigid like my hands were painful after only having them out for about like five minutes so i'm hoping today's a little bit warmer so i don't get too cold inside but i know it's winter so i just gotta suck it up let's go hi welcome to december 9th uh -huh. i wanted to try something a little bit different it is 3 p.m right now i slept in a little bit today because i didn't have anything to shoot this morning for once um but i may be shooting something tonight we'll see i don't even know if I have had a day yet this week where I haven't shot anything in the vlog, but. You don't believe in that. Uh, 
What do you mean you don't believe in that? You work every day. All day or day. Maybe not all day. Like not right now. Well, okay, like right not not right now, but we've Literally essentially right like er day been working. Er day, indeed. So we're taking today during the day kind of slow. I had to submit a couple pieces of content this morning. I put up my first weekly vlog. I meant to get it up last night, but it didn't upload on time properly. I was having some technical glitches. So it is up now. Well, by the time you guys are watching this, this one will also be up. So if you haven't watched the first one, make sure to go back and watch that one. It was a little bit long. I didn't anticipate a week long vlog to be a little over an hour. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I split it up and have two portions and just do like every three to four days instead? Or would you guys like to watch long vlogs? I don't I don't know how you guys feel about the vlogs that are that long, because I don't usually put out vlogs that are that long. So let me know in the comments down below if you want me to split it up into two videos, or if you'd still like to keep watching one weekly vlog. But right now we're actually headed off to a Costco for the day, because well not for the day, for <laughs> the next couple of hours. Imagine for a spending six a six-hour excursion at Costco. Imagine you spend that long at Costco. That'd be wild. Like I just need to know what people are doing, what they're buying to spend that you long at Costco. We could have done it before COVID with all the samples. But we never had a Costco membership until now. I'm just saying it was easier to spend six hours at Costco pre-COVID. It's true. I mean, no, they got rid of samples a while ago, even before COVID hit though, because people are taking advantage of the samples and eating way too many of them. Okay, well, it was a lot easier to spend six hours at Costco when I was a kid, when I could have samples. Okay, well, I'm the type of person when I go to grocery stores, that, like I'm in and out, I get what I need, look at a couple things and then leave. I'm not trying to spend my entire day there. So the goal is not to spend six hours at Costco today. Only three. That's a lot still. I know. No, like maybe an yeah. hour max. That's more than necessary. What do you guys think? How long do you spend at Costco? Like I need to know the average time frame here. Is it like 30 minutes? Are you guys a quick in and out shopper? Or are you browsing, wandering around, touching things, looking at things and spending like two plus hours in there? That boggles my mind as to how long people can spend in Costco if that's the case. But I'm curious, so let me know. But we are going to pick up some groceries um, using my Costco membership that I got for the very first time ever. We got it back in Ottawa, yes. When we were in Ottawa a couple weeks ago, I got a Costco membership, so we now can buy some of our favorite things that we haven't been able to get a hold of. And the Yay. reason we held off until now is because we didn't have a car until this year. And there's, there's no point going to Costco without a car. You actually also can't get to Costco without a car. They're usually located yeah. in suburbs in the middle of nowhere that are like far away from downtown. And seeing as we live downtown, it just wasn't feasible for us to have a Costco membership at the time. But now that we have a car, we And Yay. I can get all the delicious eats again, especially for Tissue do that and then I had to go back home to pick up uh, my cousin's birthday presents from Aesop. I ordered them some hand cream and hand wash duo sets from the Queen Street location. So since all the stores in Toronto are locked down right now, we're just going to be doing a click and collect. I placed the order last night. They called me this morning telling me that it was already available to be picked up. So we're going to hop on and visit them. Is click and collect the same thing as curbside? Yeah, I think that's just their way of saying curbside. Oh. Like you just call them and Sorry, no, you drive to them, yeah. and then when you get there, you just show them your email that yeah, says your, your, your order's ready. Your order number. Yeah, and they bring it out for you. Cool. So it's pretty convenient. I mean, I would have liked to go into the store to like try and stuff myself, but I already know exactly what I want to get them, so it's pretty easy as is. And then, I think that's all we have for errands today. Yep. Yeah, nothing else. And then back home to do some more editing. I need to get my holiday gift guide up for you guys. It's a little quick one. Um, I actually need to film that because that's supposed to go live tomorrow, but I don't even have the video yet. So I might just Jeez. film it tomorrow morning because I was planning to wash my hair tonight. And it's like super cloudy outside today, so there's like no lighting. But that's the plan for today. So let's go munch munch hot dogs at Costco. Okay, you going to buy a TV? No. So, I actually saw a video on TikTok that said the reason Costco puts TVs in the front of the store because they're so expensive so that when you go shop everything else, it feels cheaper and you end up walking out with hundreds of dollars of other things instead. It's a marketing oh. tactic, guys. But you can just buy this TV for $940. We have a TV. We don't need another one. You can always use more TVs. Where do you want to go first? Honey is usually in these aisles. We just got some hot dog glizzies. I just wanted to say that because I've heard kids say that on TikTok. <laughs> oh, you children. <laughs> Trying to be like on trend and cool, you know? Wait. What? There's, there's nothing in here. Yeah, because they're here. Oh, okay. Are you serious? I just told you this. I didn't realize. Clearly, I wasn't listening. 
No kidding. Let's get these glizzies all drippy. Shut <laughs> up. Oh my god. Why oh, didn't put my hand sanitizer on? Ew. Ew. Always sanitize first before you eat, especially if you're going into grocery stores. I sanitize whenever you leave a grocery store. Mmm, that's or not if you're alcohol. In. Actually, no, I hate the smell of this stuff. It's disgusting. It's, it reminds it. me of like vodka. It's so gross. You don't like vodka? Um, do I look like I'm 21 years old? Could be. You still get carded at the LCBO? I wish I was still 21 years old, guys. Ooh, that looks gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is such great content. Mustard time. Also looks disgusting. This is some high quality premium YouTube vlog content for Vlogmas. All for a dollar fifty. Really? Well, each of these was a dollar fifty. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> both hot dogs and both drinks came out to be a dollar fifty. Mm. Okay, I am never applying condiments on camera ever again because my hot dog looks disgusting right now. <laughs> that is not how I like to eat my hot dog. So this is never happening again. Appreciate what just happened, guys. You want to see mine? Much nicer. I can't see. You gotta tip it a bit. Tip it, tip it, tip it, tip it, it more. Tip. tip it like the way I asked you to tip the milk jug no. in the DFO photo. Refuse. <laughs> you should film one of those and actually put it up as like raw, unedited. Like, like one of those like shoots where we get really angry with each other. Yeah. So people can see the realness. Mm. You comment if you want to see the realness. What are you saying, Zach? I'm a very, I'm, I'm an A-type. So when it comes to shooting content, wow, it's so orange because the sunset right now. What time is it? Sunset time. Oh, gross. Ew! The sunset time? What's wrong with you? Yeah, it's 4 o'clock, sunset time. At 4 o'clock, wow. I hate that the sunset is really well, I'm now. No, so I'm a huge A-type, and when it comes to creating content, like, I'm in the zone when it comes to shooting our photos, and if things don't go my way, I I have no empathy. <laughs> I just get really bitchy, so I start yelling at him sometimes. We come to an understanding that it's just our workflow, and just the way we operate when it comes to working, because as soon as I'm done creating the content, it's like I turn that off, and I'm me normal again not me he just gets grumpy because he's pissed off at me for yelling at him no. the and pettiness stays around for a lot longer than yours peter holds grudges so he stays angry for like a couple of hours so i just yeah. go off and do my own thing and i edit my own photos we have a system like we shoot photos sometimes it's really good we don't get angry at each other and then sometimes i like yell at him part way through because i'm mad that he's not understanding my vision and my process of how i want to do things and then he gets mad at me and then afterwards we go off do our own things for a couple of hours and then we're fine we both simmer down and we're fine so that's what he's asking if you guys would like to see <laughs> in a vlog i don't really have that much more content to shoot to be honest i have majesty's pleasure i have some citizen stuff mm -hmm. and po party city those are the three campaigns left that i have for the end of the year that we know of as of now there's still like party city would be the, the, the one you think yeah you think i'm gonna be angry at that one I don't think you'll be angry, but if there's anything that might go wrong, it's through Party City. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just capture all three shoots and we'll see what happens. If there is a moment where I get frustrated and I lose it on him, you will see it on here. We're going to show the behind the scenes. Oh, actually, a really cool thing that I've been seeing on TikTok. So it's like this trend where creators post up pictures that they post on Instagram and they tell the truth behind the story. Like it'd be a picture of like a girl and a guy kissing together in front of Eiffel Tower and they'd be like, it was actually minus 10 degrees that day and we were both, we were both really pissed off. We yelled at each other and I just wanted to get the photo and then I left. So something like that. I don't know if I should start doing those because we have a lot of funny stories for some of our pictures. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll do that for TikTok. Stay tuned if you guys aren't following me on TikTok yet and I'll do all of the truth behind the photos on there. But yeah, I'm gonna finish eating the- oh, you're done? Sorry, I was eating instead of talking to the camera. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish eating my glizzy. I'm using mm. every excuse I can to say that. I want another one. You wanna buy your mine? No, I want my own. Okay, well, you can go like back in and more. get another one if you'd like. No, so far. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish eating this, and then we're gonna go pick up stuff from Aesop for my cousins for their birthday, and then we gonna go home and do some work. Actually, I should, because I have fun editing. That's the funnest part. Yeah, what are you talking about? You love your work. We're home. It's been a few hours now. I took like a three hour nap earlier, and then we took the dog out to walk him. He's right here. He's waiting because Peter just finished making food. We're trying these dumplings that we picked up from Costco today, and we steamed them up with some Napa in our Our Place spruce steamer, and. These are the new Our Place plates that just came in recently. Super excited to try them out. I love the color of these. So I know, I don't know if I showed you guys this before, but we have these Ikea plates because I wanted dark ones originally at first, but I actually am not a fan of these plates because there's no lip on the edge and food always falls off whenever you were using them. So I actually end up like never using these plates ever. And we ended up getting these Our Place ones because they have this little like lip on the side which prevents food from falling off, which I like. 
So this is gonna be our first day testing them out to see how they are. We have the four piece set. I think this is in the color Steam. I think it's a similar color as yeah. our, our place pan. Yes, yeah, Steam. We also have the matching bowls. I probably should have showed you guys that originally. They're up there. Love the bowls so far. Every time we use them to cook anything in, it just instantly looks like plating from a professional restaurant, which Peter likes because it makes him look like a professional like chef. No, you're not. I am now. Okay, Thanks you're a professional at home chef. Yep. But uh, I actually really like these plates. They actually look like they have been almost plated professionally. They have been. By Chef Peter. Yeah. Chef Duh. P. Yeah. Now remember to tip your servers. <laughs> He's not getting tip from this because... Room. Because I, I contribute more Room. to the joint account, so technically I feel like you've already I been tipped. I paid for this. Doesn't matter. I paid for this and I don't get tipped? It was my membership. That's some shit. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna eat this now for dinner, and I'm gonna go watch um, episode two of the startup. It's a K drama that I recently started on Netflix. So, oh my God, Kobe's like begging for food. I don't know if you guys can see this in the vlog. Yes, you can. This is what he does whenever he wants food or he smells food around. He does his dance. This is what he does when he begs for food. He just like dances for it. You cutie, we're gonna have to feed you something. I'll get you a treat, okay? Okay, you get a piece of Napa, Kobe. Come up, here, come. When he was a puppy, we trained him to like veggies. Now he likes green. Love you, bye bye. Love you, bye bye. Oh, you're so cute. Hey guys, and welcome to December 10th. I guess Vlogmas day 10 in week two. So there's a huge mess behind me right here on the floor because I am just about to film the outfits for my Zara Winter and Black Friday haul. So I lay them out all like this usually so I can see everything that I need to film. And then we're gonna head out right now to shoot. It should be about three-ish to four degrees I think outside today. So uh, a little bit warmer than before, but still not the best. Hoping for it to be relatively warm throughout the day because afterwards I do need to go out and shoot my final piece of content for the Sorel campaign that I have. and. It's gonna be a really cool one because I've never shot anything like this before, so I'm really excited for you guys to see what it looks like. But for now, I'm gonna take you guys outside with us onto our balcony. You guys are probably familiar with it. This is where I shoot like almost all of my YouTube outfit content because we don't have a space big enough with like a blank canvas in the background for me to stand to do in our condo. So you guys will get to follow along and watch as we shoot some more content. I also want to note that I did get a couple comments saying that you guys enjoyed getting more behind the scenes content from me. So I'm gonna make a note to try to incorporate a little bit more into our everyday today life so you guys can see what it's like when we're filming stuff. So let's go down to the balcony and film the Zara outfits for my upcoming haul, which you guys will definitely have watched before this. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so you guys know every single time I upload a brand new video because that one definitely should be coming up before this one. You wanna join in on the video filming today? Mm -hmm. He was scratching to go outside onto the balcony so we may let him out for a little bit. Sometimes you guys see him running around the background behind my videos. What's going on with your hair? What about it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're gonna curl Peter's hair tonight. We were supposed to cool. do it last night but we got too tired. We're gonna try because I really want to see what it looks like when he has curly hair. So stay tuned for that and make sure you're watching the video all the way till that part so you can at least see him with curly hair. Currently at UT, just finished filming my Instagram post. Um, I didn't get a chance to get on the camera to vlog because we were rushing before the sunset because I had to make sure the sun wasn't gonna change between the two photos. But I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes now of when we shoot some photos for Instagram because that'll be a little bit easier for me to capture. It's been a few hours guys. We are home now. We came home earlier, took a nap, and then walked to Kobe, ate dinner, and then watched a little bit of TV. And now we're gonna do what I promised you guys we'd do. We're gonna curl Peter's hair. Yay. Kobe wants to join on the fun apparently. Hi baby, you want me to curl your hair too? Should I curl your hair too, baby? Yeah? Yeah, you want your hair curled, don't you? This is Peter's first time ever curling his hair. We about to get started. Are you nervous? Are you ready? Wow, so cool.
Elvis? What is this? What did you do? <laughs> when I took out the hair elastic so you can see how like, I don't know, what I think you have to like play around with this a little bit. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be more wavy than cur than curls. I think it's gonna look better tomorrow morning. Usually like by second day, it'll make my waves look nicer. I don't know man, I got a shower in the morning so I hope it looks good. Why, so you let me do it again? I think I just need to like experiment to play around with this a little bit more to see how it is. I think you need uh, a less tight curl. Really? It's gonna loosen up. <laughs> I don't know, man. No, oh, sitting on the ledge of a bathtub, not Can comfortable. Oh, wow, 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 Stop! Wow, wow, wow. It doesn't hurt. Relax. Ow. That didn't hurt. Freaking rude, man. <laughs> oh. All of your hair. What are you like a professional hairstylist? Yeah. What is this? I'm trying, you know. I'll go to a barber shop for that. Why are you giving me a middle part? <laughs> what do you think? You can look like me with short hair. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go buzz my head off. <laughs> I don't want to. The whole point is to avoid pain. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how to work with men's wavy hair. I think, yeah, just wait till tomorrow morning, then we'll see how it looks. I think I did a pretty decent job, though. Don't you think? This is not what I was promised. That's attractive. Wait, what if I give you, like, a singular curl? Can we down like this? What are you it's doing? Turn. What did you do? <laughs> Jesus. Kind of cute, baby. I like it. Just kind of. I was regularly cute before. Mm -hmm. okay. I love you either way. Okay. Good morning and welcome to December 11th. I realized that I didn't open any of my advent calendars yesterday and I completely forgot to do it. So I'm going to open it first thing this morning with you guys. We're going to start off with the tea pigs one. And I believe we are at, wow, December 11th. Yeah, so we're at 11. So we have 10, 11. Did I even open 9 or 8? The last one I opened was 8. So I'm three days behind on this, guy. So let's open up number 9 right here. We'll open up 9, 10, and 11. I'm really bad at this. Sorry, guys. Today says, did you know... By the mid 18th century, tea had leapfrogged gin to claim the title of Britain's favorite drink. All right, so I guess uh, by the 18th century, Brits were no longer alcoholics. Gin. My personal favorite alcoholic drink is gin anyway, so I'm okay with that. Today's drink is, well, the ninth the drink was an Earl Grey Strong. Like I showed you guys, I love Earl Grey the other day, so I will definitely be drinking this one. Let's see what is in number 10. I'm actually kind of sad. Because we are almost halfway through this. There's only 24 in here, I believe. So we'll be taking this one with me back to Ottawa to open the rest of them. Okay, so today says chocolate mint. Is there a more perfect combo? Uh, no, I love chocolate mint. And if you guys know me, holidays, all I drink is oh, mint hot chocolate. So this is perfect, but in a tea form. I've never actually tried minty chocolate tea before, so I'm very excited. So these two days have been quite good to me so far. Let's open up 11 and see if we can stay on a roll. Okay, we have 11 opened up. Oops, I definitely ripped the cardboard on this one. And this one says, Jasmine Pearls. One of her most special teas, the green tea leaves are hand rolled into precious pearl. What? And then engulfed in fresh jasmine flowers. I've never heard of tea leaves rolled into jasmine pearls. Yeah, I can definitely feel like little balls. That is so cool. I am also a fan of jasmine tea. This is the only tea I drink whenever I go to dim sum or Chinese restaurants. So I am in luck these three days when it comes to tea pigs. These are all going to be mine. Peter's not getting a single drop of these ones. I apologize. The sun is so freaking aggressive over here. Let me see if I can find a better place to sit you guys up on. Okay, lighting has gone down a little bit, so I decided not to shift you guys around. But I'm going to open up the body shop one next. So we, I think we also left up on eight yes yeah, so we're at nine ten eleven <laughs> wow I'm really bad at this guys so let me see if i can find nine ten eleven and then i'm going to show you guys where they on the box 
and then we'll take them out slowly. That took me way too long to locate these, but nine was right down here, 10 is up here, and 11 is right here. So I'm gonna pull them all out and then I'll open them up and show you guys what's inside. Number nine has the cutest little gingerbread men on them. Love that. See what's inside this one. Ooh, okay. It is the Shea Hand Cream. Pocket size, perfect. I'm gonna be throwing this one into the car because we had another one in the car that's almost finished actually. So I need to replenish that one. Also, I have to say guys, Shea Hand Creams or just Shea Butter anything in the winter time is phenomenal for your hands. I have extremely dry hands. Um, and when I say dry, I mean like chronically dry. So this stuff, does wonders and it's a lifesaver so that my hands don't crack and bleed because that is the last thing that we want in the winter. This is number 10. He's the cutest little snowman milk carton. I think, yeah, it is a snowman milk carton and he's just like a ball. <laughs> this is so adorable. Let's open it up and see what's inside. It kind of smells like grapefruit from what I can smell from the outside. And it is, it's the pink grapefruit shower gel. I'm definitely gonna put this together with the Zara and Joe Malone one and see which one smells better. Yeah, this one has a very, very strong such a secret fruit scent and very accurate to the scent that grapefruit is too. So having fun with this, let's put this one back and open up number 11. Okay, so 11 is the tiniest and cutest little gingerbread man. I am fascinated by this. Oh yeah, which reminds me, I need to make my gingerbread house. We haven't done that yet. Um, but we're trying to do like maybe one activity every night. So maybe we'll do that tonight. But you guys saw yesterday, yesterday's activity was curling Peter's hair because he wanted to see what it looks like curled. So we did that. Um, ooh. Coconut bath bubble? What is a bath bubble? Like a bath bomb? This is so cute. I actually do need to take a bath for a campaign that I have to shoot over the next few days before we leave. So I might just put this in and see how it feels. I've never really used bath bombs before. Like I have a couple of times. I'm more of like a bubble bath girl than I am more of like a bath bomb bath type of girl, but we'll give this a try and see how it goes. So that is it for the Body Shop Advent Calendar. I'm gonna put this one away and we're gonna open up the Zara and Joe Malone one. Once again, I have it propped up here underneath my camera. So we'll see if I can organize this to make sure things don't fall down. I have to locate number nine first. And yeah, number nine is in a spot that I can't really reach if I was to open this up. So let me just pull number nine, 10, and 11 out and then I will show you what's inside all of them and then I'll put the camera back in place. Okay, I'm back. You guys definitely have shifted a little bit because both the nine and 11 were underneath the door that I had propped open for the camera, long spiel. Anyway, so number nine is here. It's a slightly bigger one. And then this is number 10. And then this one is number 11. So let's go inside, let's see what's inside. Well, I can see already what's inside. Number nine is a mini candle again. This one is called Tuberose Noir. I, oh, I like this. I like Tuberose anything. So this one's right up my alley. Peter's not gonna be the biggest fan of it because it has one of those like very, floral jasmine fragrance type of scents, <laughs> but it's okay, it's my candle, so I'm gonna burn it. So like this one, really, really yummy. Number 10 is another fragrance. So this one is actually the Ebony Wood Shower Gel that I got the other day, but as the fragrance bottle, I don't remember what this one smells like, so let's just spray this one again. Okay, so Ebony Wood is like that sweet, musky, man, spicy scent. Um, wasn't my favorite thus far, but the packaging is really, really pretty. So we'll be keeping this one. I'm putting it away with the rest of the other ones. Number 11 is a hand and body wash. This one is called a Malfi Sunray. I don't think we've smelled this one yet, so let's give this one a go and see what it smells like. Ooh, this one's interesting. It's like, it smells like a vanilla minty creamsicle. If this is what Amalfi smells like, I'm totally on board with it because we're supposed to be going there for our honeymoon eventually whenever we can travel again. But I like it, it's nice. It's like, it's like a minty creamsicle for some reason. I don't know, I'm a fan of this one. So that is it for all of the advent calendars that I have to open up today that I'll be showing you. I will be back tomorrow to open up the rest of them. Um, for now, I am going to get ready for the day because it's really sunny and warm day outside. So I think we want to take advantage of that and go shoot a little bit before it gets frigid cold out. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I do need to film, let's rotate more into this side so I can be in the shade a little bit while the sun like freaks out on its own. And then after that, I do actually need to film a video, like a little small holiday gift guide for you guys to get up on this channel before it gets too close to the holidays in case you guys are still online shopping or doing some shopping in stores. If you have some stores that are open near you, I'm just gonna do that. And then I think we're gonna edit a bunch of stuff. Some of the stuff that we shot yesterday for Sorrel, I tried to edit it yesterday and 
holy shit guys masking is hard i don't usually mask on premiere pro and i think it's a lot of fun to learn new techniques and new things to do so that's what we're doing right now it is a task and a half but it's really entertaining and i think i'm enjoying it because i'm learning a new skill and that's primarily what i really value about things like this when i challenge myself and learn new things so yeah let's go get ready so we can go shoot and i'll take you guys along with us as we shoot again and then you guys will come back with us later tonight when we do some work. You guys last saw me this morning opening up the PR packages. It's now four o'clock. We just finished shooting my um, holiday gift guide for YouTube and I am now jetting over to kind of like the blur area to shoot some last and final holiday content-ish, like just outfits, some like winter outfits before it gets really chilly here. <sighs> we just found out that the York region is also going to be going lockdown on Monday, which is really unfortunate. And yeah, so we're just trying to get whatever last bits of outdoor stuff done before we need to go back home to Ottawa. And then we're gonna pick up, apparently Peter has part two of my Christmas present on that end of the city to get as well. So we're gonna pick that up. I have no idea what it is. I don't know either. What do you mean you don't know? You bought it for me. I don't know. Okay, well, we're gonna find out what it is. Do I get to open it today or do you want me to wait till Christmas for this? You can open it today. Okay, so. I guess, I mean, I don't know what it is, I'm not sure. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I don't like this mysteriousness when it comes to gifts like this. He already gave me part one of my Christmas gift last night. Um, we both know what we got each other for Christmas and you guys will find out in the holiday gift card that goes up before this as to how we go about gifting each other Christmas presents. We just wanna get each other practical stuff so that our place is not fully bogged down with like superfluous things since we have such a small condo to work with. Um, but I opened it up and it's going to be a LCD. Well, it's not going to be. It is an LCD or an LED screen for my camera so I no longer have to rely on my phone anymore as a screen. I used to do that. I would connect it to the Canon app. But what really sucked is that when I had to refer back to my phone for notes for any like sponsored campaigns that I was filming, it would always disconnect me from the camera and now I don't have to worry about that anymore. I can see exactly what I look like in the camera at all times and life is good. So the only thing left that sucks about that is that we forgot that we have to buy batteries separately for it. So I had to order them off of Amazon by myself. Um, and they'll wait a few days for them to come in. I was really excited to be able to use it today, but unfortunately, since we don't have the batteries, we weren't able to use it today when I was filming this stuff at home. But that is life, and I'm okay with that. But thanks, baby, for the Christmas present. Peter already has his too. He hasn't started using it yet, though. You guys will see in the holiday gift guide if you watch it what I got him for Christmas. Um, when are you gonna use it for Christmas? Like, are you gonna even use it at all for Christmas? I don't know. Am I allowed to? Yeah. Oh, it's I your didn't Christmas know that. gift. We don't have to wait till Christmas to open it. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Okay, well, you can begin using it, sir. Hmm. So he may start soon. It changes um, things. You should do a review. Maybe I'll get you to come on my channel and do a review of it. We can be reviewing our Christmas gifts to each other. 10 out of 10. You haven't even used it yet. Still a 10 out of 10. Okay, well, I, I see. I have a strong one, this one. He always likes my gifts. Yes, very <laughs> strong. Um, he's a keeper. We're gonna go shoot some looks before the sunset. We were chasing sunlight. It is 4.10 already. Usually the sun sets by 5, so we'll see what we can get. It's gonna be kind of dark, but I, I'm confident we can get at least two if it's done and out of the way today, so let's go do that. Uh, I'm back in the car now. As you guys can see, it is extremely dark because it is 7.30 p.m. To give you guys a little bit of an update as to what happened, uh, I went out and got my first photo shot and then it got started getting really dark so we were on our way to go pick up Peter's Christmas gift part two to me and then on the way there our car got hit. As you can probably expect um, the night is ruined. <laughs> we got rear-ended, our bumper is wrecked and we need to go to the collision center up in what is it, North York and Finch area. Yeah. Something and like Jane that. And Finch. Jane and Finch to go get our car yeah. assessed and looked at. Um, we've already called and filed the report with the police. So this is the last step just to figure things out. As if this week wasn't already stressful enough as it was. Or actually, you know what? This week was starting to wind down a little bit. I was starting to get a little bit more excited because I was almost done off my work. Just a couple campaigns left. And of course, this had to freaking happen on a Friday night. And the worst part is, we were trying to avoid an accident and then a another car hit us. So I'm just like, downtown driving is so nuts. Anyway, so that's the end of the night. Um, definitely vibes were killed, very much so. We are currently on route to the collision center. It's gonna take us about like an hour to get there. Half an hour actually right now. It says half an hour now because we've been on the road for a little bit. Um, and then who knows how long it's gonna take while we're in there. Probably in like an hour, two hours, 
who knows we're gonna cook dinner tonight but i don't think that's gonna be the case anymore it looks like right now we're probably gonna order some sort of takeout on the way home because neither of us are in the mood to be putting in effort to prep anything whatsoever at all I got some clients on my back to get some content back to them, but we've unfortunately been preoccupied all day long. So logistically, it's just not been a great day so far. Well, I mean, not been a great day for the last half of the day. So fingers crossed that the rest of the evening goes well, but this is not how I was hoping to end the year with a car accident. Hopefully that guy's insurance takes care of all this, but yeah, we'll touch base with you guys at the collision center and let you know uh, the status of a car. Don't worry though, both of us are fine. No injuries on either end. Um, we're perfectly a-okay and in good health. I got put into a room because they're not allowed more than one person in the waiting room while we're waiting. Peter's being seen right now. Fingers crossed things go well. Been here for about one hour and then I'm gonna try to figure out what to get for dinner afterwards because we are not in the mood to cook. We're just gonna pick up some tickets. We are home now. Um, we left the collision center. It took about how long? An hour or something? Like an hour and a half inside. An hour and a half. It's been a frustrating six hours or so, so we decided screw it. We're not cooking dinner tonight. We got takeout. We ordered from Aji Sai. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 15% off pickup. Yum. Sushi for dinner. And then I also did mention that we were going to... Actually, don't, did I mention it? I can't remember. Peter said that we were going to go somewhere yep. and I pick up part two of my Christmas present. We got it. A little sus. I don't know what this is because... I don't know. It's in a flat envelope. How do you not know what you get me for Christmas? Oh, okay, can you explain to me how you came across this for my Christmas present? I found it on the internet. Okay, can you be a little bit more like descriptive? I was scrolling social- Yo, what? What? You know how these chopsticks are coming too? Yes. They gave us a singular. What? That's uh, wild. Manufacturer's defects, sir. Wow, use it for your plan. Plot twist. This is wow. how our day just went. This is wild. This is indicative of our day. That is crazy. Singular chopstick. Okay, sorry, keep going with your story. How did you come across this? Uh, I don't know. I was scrolling on social media and I saw it. And I was like, oh, it looks cool. I'm gonna get it. Okay. Yeah. I'm a little sus. He said I can open it today. Should I open it or should I save it till Christmas? Just open it. Do you want me to open yes, it? Yes, open it. Jeez. Did you buy yourself a present? Yep. <laughs> it's a Christmas card with sneakers on it. I swear to God. Peter got himself a Christmas present. Wait, let me focus on this. Do you guys see this? There's sneakers. <laughs> there's two envelopes, why? What does that usually mean when it's two envelopes? Do I have to give it to someone? Is there two cards? Yeah. I'm confused. Wow, so delicate. Wow. You deserve... <laughs> yeah, I feel like that, eh? <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> To the Christmas present. It says you deserve to be Dior. This wait, does this mean you got me a Dior bag for Christmas? No, I can't afford Dior, so this is what you get. You Was get a this, card with Dior. Were you gonna write my Christmas card using this to gift me that? What? Like, were you gonna put this card into that Christmas present? Is that what the point yeah, was? Yeah, if we weren't like living together and under lockdown, yeah. <laughs> this is really that would be how it goes. Thanks, baby. I You're welcome. It. There you go. This is actually really cute. What photo is this? I don't know. Yo, this is like some person who designed this. Oh. It looks a lot like one of yours, right? What did you tell them? Nothing. Legit. She just, this person had, like, designs cards. Oh. Their studio is on the back. Sorry, I thought you meant like you sent them a photo no. of me and they drew no. it. Okay, interesting. Cute. Yeah. Maybe I need to get a baby blue Dior bag no, next. No, I don't think so. I did say I wanted a new style bag, so very cute. That's silly. Did you actually order yourself Christmas card. Yeah, why not? I'm supporting local. There you go. <laughs> this is true, support local. Wait, who did you get this from? Studio S or Studio 5? Uh, that's an S. So, I know, some random person on Instagram. Studio yeah. S. I will drop a link down below or I'll insert their handle here because chances are I probably won't remember to drop the link down below. These are really cute, guys. Thanks, baby. Mm hmm. You ready mm -hmm. to have dinner now? Yes, please. I'm sorry. Okay. I want to use these. These are too cute. Okay, I save them. I want to see it. I didn't actually look at it yet. Hey guys, welcome back to December 12th. Well, not welcome back because this is the first day of December 12th that I'm filming this, but welcome to December 12th. As you can probably tell, it is extremely gloomy outside. I'm gonna show you what it looks like because it's raining and disgusting. That's it, that's the outdoors. I have it extra bright because I need to be bright inside of our place. Usually I have it turned down all the way because you guys know it gets super dark in here when it's super sunny outside. Um, but yeah, this is all the rain outside. This is what's gonna be happening all day today. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and open up today's 
advent calendars because we need a little bit of like sparkle and sunshine of today's day and I think I'm only gonna get that from my advent calendars. If you guys can hear, Kobe is like crazily walking around all excited right now. I think you want in on the advent calendar fun, don't you boo boo? Don't you boo boo? Oh, we also have a very exciting advent calendar to open up today. If you guys have been following along since day one, December 1st, I have that huge giant wine one that I'm finally allowed to open today because it's 12 days of Jackson, I think Jackson family wines. And today's day one because today is the 12th so I can open one every single day leading up until Christmas. Kobe, you need to chill. You need to chill. Chow, please. If anybody gets that reference from TikTok. <laughs> Starting off with pea pigs. Ooh, I found 12 right away. It was right here. So let's open up number 12. Today's is a calm tea. It says, Christmas can be intense, so take five minutes to yourself and enjoy a giant cup of calm. It is intense, and I could use some calm, especially today on such like a, a rainy, gloomy day. So this one is a relaxing tea. And it's organic and it says, feel good tea with valerian. I think that's valerian root. I've never actually tried valerian root in teas before. Cute packaging though, like a little bunny rabbit. So I'll have to try this out and let you guys know what I think of it. Moving on to the next one, we're gonna open up the Zara and Jo Malone one. Today is number 12. Where are you Christmas? No, I should not be thinking that. Okay, it's number 12, a little big box right here. I feel like now I come to know that big boxes usually need candles because they're a little bit thicker. And today's is the Vetiver Pomplamoose candle, so I I already love the scent. Yeah, as a candle, it's phenomenal. Kind of smells more like soapy laundry though as a candle than as the spray, the perfume spray and the body wash. Interesting how like the different mediums that they're in kind of affects the scent that it has. Yeah, it has like a soapy scent to it. So I don't know, we'll see. Maybe once I burn it, I'll feel otherwise and I'll like it as much as I did when I smelt the fragrance. But at the moment I like, I like it, but it's kind of soapy for a candle. And I don't know if I like a soapy smelling candle. Moving on to the Body Shop Advent Calendar, this little biggie guy. Let's look for number 12 in here. Where are you at, 12? Why do I always have issues finding these numbers? Oh, no, here it is. I found him. This giant little, uh, what are these guys called? I forget the nutcracker. That's what he is. He's a giant nutcracker. Ooh, it's a heavy boy. So I feel like this is gonna be one of their full size ones. It is a full size, guys. It is their Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I have used this one before and can confirm that it is a very gentle eye makeup remover. I've used it with contacts. Um, well, not with them on, but like I have contacts so my eyes get sensitive and really easily irritated and I don't find that it irritates me at all. And it does a really good job at taking off waterproof makeup as well because I use a lot of waterproof mascara since my little Asian lashes don't like to stay curled. But yeah, I always love full size when I get them in advent calendars. I feel like every advent calendar should have at least one full size product in it. I don't know. I feel like that's what makes it worthwhile. I might be wrong. Somebody correct me, but... I do get a lot happier when I get full size ones. Okay, the moment that you guys have all been waiting for, I have been waiting so long to open this and we were told that we couldn't open this giant advent calendar until December 12th because there are 12 days on here. If you guys can't see, I'll shift it over a little bit more for you. And this is ginormous. Honestly, probably out of all of my advent calendars, this might be my favorite just because I'm a bit of a wine ho. So I can't wait to open it up and show you guys what's inside. This one is from Jackson Family Wines. I'm hoping it's 12 different wine bottles because that would be really cool. I have actually never tried Jackson Family Wines before, so I'm really, really excited to try this one out. So let's go ahead and open up number one. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer so you guys can see. This thing is heavy. I'm gonna try to open one every day with you guys leading up until Christmas if Peter allows me to bring this back home with me in Ottawa to open then. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, are you guys ready? Number one, pop in the hole. Dun, 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 dun. Do I just lift it up? I think I, yeah, I just leave it like this. Pull it off for me. Ta-da! This is number one. So this one is from Kendall Jackson Fitness Reserve, a Chardonnay. I actually really, really like Chardonnay, so super excited for this one. We might just, should we open this tonight to drink? Sure. Yeah, we're gonna open this tonight to drink, guys, because I am ready to dig into this. I've been having reds for the past couple of days. I can't wait to open this up. I will let you guys know my thoughts on this once we get the opportunity to try it out. So that is it for the advent calendars. Um, so as you guys saw, I got to add a fourth advent calendar into the mix, which you will see for the next 12 days leading up to Christmas. What an exciting one to open though. I've never received a one advent calendar before. Most of the ones that I've previously received in the past have been like chocolates and candies or beauty products. So this is really fun to be able to open something a little bit different. I've been watching some people on TikTok that have opened up advent calendars that have like cheese in them or even gin, which is so cool. I feel like these are 
adult advent calendars that are exciting to get. Not to say that the other ones are not, it's just something a little bit different which is intriguing and really unique and I'm a huge fan of it. And I'll let you guys know my thoughts on them as well too once I've gotten a chance to try them and which ones I recommend and which ones are my favorite. But for now we are going to be spending I think the majority of the day running some errands. I have a bunch of things that I need to return. We have to pick up some groceries and then tonight we're gonna do a lot of editing because I have still a lot of things that are due um, for some campaigns and to film to get up onto YouTube for you guys. So it's gonna be a busy day. Let's go. Good morning guys and welcome to December 13th. Wow, my voice just cracked. I just woke up earlier and I don't know what just happened. And if you guys are asking why I have gray in my hair right now, I just sprayed a bunch of dry shampoo and I'm letting it sit. Pro tip, if you guys leave your dry shampoo in for like 10-15 minutes as you do skincare your makeup, it allows it to soak in more oil and then rub it out and it'll perform so much better for you. But today on the schedule, we have a lot of editing to do. Once again, it's not going to be a super, super exciting and fun day, so you guys probably won't see like too much in here. I just realized between today and tomorrow, these are the last two days you'll see on this vlog. So hopefully I've got enough in here to make it more exciting. I know the uh, first vlog was a little bit more exciting since you guys got to see me do a lot of more fun things, go to some appointments and stuff. But Toronto is still currently in lockdown. The York region just got put into lockdown, so it's not going to be the most exciting on here to see that. And yeah, there's not much to do besides just stay at home and do work, which is essentially what you're supposed to be doing. So we're just going to be doing a lot of editing today. I'm going to share with you guys my advent calendars for today, and then I'm going to go off and do some computer work, and then we'll be back later in the afternoon when we have something different or exciting to share. I also forgot to mention that it's also a really gloomy day outside, so the lighting is like a little bit better, but you're going to see some aggressive shadows. We're going to start off with this massive Jackson Wines um, heaven calendar. I got a couple of you guys asking me on DM on Instagram as to whether or not you can purchase these. I don't actually know. I'm so sorry. However, I think it would be a great idea if like LCBO did something like this where you can just go in and purchase 12 bottles of wine and shove it into an advent calendar like it's an instant easy at least like 150 to 200 dollar purchase for them and one go and i think people would love this as a gift like that's not that bad as a gift i usually give my friends like 50 to 100 dollar gifts and then if it's somebody that's really close to me then they get like 150 to 200 so i feel like i could swing that i might not buy like everybody this gift because it's a little intense also it's really freaking heavy for me to carry but I think it's a great idea. We are going to go ahead and open up number two today. So number two is at the top, which is nice and easy. Well, that one popped in significantly easier than yesterday's did. I struggled to open these little flaps though. Today's is, oh, it is not a wine. It is not a wine bottle for today. How sad. <laughs> But it is a stainless steel tumbler. So I actually got an email from them this morning. I read it really quickly. Wow, the sun is coming out. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I read it really quickly and it said the stainless steel tumbler is for you to enjoy the Chardonnay in so I can stay cooler for a little bit longer. I'm actually okay with that because that means I can bring my Chardonnay on route with me to places. JK, guys, don't drink, please drink responsibly. Um, but this is really cool. I probably will definitely drink this at home and walk around with it so I can stay nice and chilled instead of getting warm in a glass cup. So thank you. This is neat. So this is today's advent calendar number two for Texan family one. All right, let's move over to tea pigs in their little accordion calendar. Number 13 is at the top right here. They says, when it comes to knocking back our favorite brew, which nation do you think takes the top spot for most cups drunk per person. Turkey. Oh, I had no idea. I thought Turkey was more well known for their coffees because Turkish coffee is like really, really popular. And today's drink is licorice and peppermint. This is going to be a Peter tea for sure. He loves licorice, don't you, babe? Licorice is the best. <laughs> I've never had licorice in tea before. This is interesting. Okay, so in the back here, I've never known that you can put licorice into teas. So I'm reading the back a little bit because it gives you some more information. It says licorice has been used for centuries in traditional Chinese medicine. It is hugely popular with the Dutch and tastes so much better with peppermint than sherbet dips. Sher sherbet? Sherbet? Sherbet. It says sherbet. It seems wrong when I say it like that. I obviously am wrong because these guys know how to spell, but it just sounds weird. Which is why we blended pure licorice root with whole peppermint leaves, create a naturally sweet and refreshing drink that is irresistibly Moorish. Moorish, if I say so myself. I've never heard of that. I'm not really a licorice person, but I definitely am a peppermint person. So I might try a sip of this to see how I like it, but usually licorice kind of like makes me gag a little bit. So this is definitely going to be a Peter T for sure. Moving on to the Zara one. I'm going to do it on the floor here because this one's really heavy and I don't have the camera propped up where I can show it to you guys easily. So number 13 is a small box today. I haven't looked at it. I've been looking at the camera the entire time since I pulled it out. It is this one. I feel like it's going to be another fragrance. It is. It is a spray, another perfume. Today is Fleur de Ranger. I've already smelled this one, I think, in the candle, so I'm pretty sure 
I'll like this one because if I remember correctly, the candles smell nice. So let's give this one a go. I like this. It's a very clean, crispy, citrusy scent. So I'm going to put this one along with the other ones. I really like how these bottles are designed. They're so pretty. So I'm going to put away the John Malone and move on to the very last one of the day, which is the body shop one. Ta-da! This is a little small one. Let me see if I can find where... 13 is in the box for you today. I know this usually takes me a while. Ooh, no, I found this one pretty quickly. 13 is right here. All right, so today is a little cactus wrapped with uh, some twinkle lights. That's actually really cute. It sounds pretty heavy. I can't smell anything right off the bat. So let's see what this is. It is the Vitamin E Moisture Cream. I've tried this one before and this one's really great for anybody who has acne scarring. It really helps to heal your skin and to make all the acne scars go away like really quickly. It's not gonna brighten them, but it helps to heal it because Vitamin E is actually really, um, anti-inflammatory inducing it's supposed to make your skin get better faster uh i don't know the science was behind this i sound like an idiot right now but i've used it and it helps me to really heal my breakouts a lot faster that's all i can really say okay guys so that is it for today's unboxings like i said i'm gonna go do some computer work now answer some emails that i had left over the weekend and edit a couple more campaigns that i have left over it's december 14th guys which means the very last day of this weekly vlog I honestly feel like this week has been really like low-key. I don't know, do you think so? Yeah, we're boring. <laughs> we kind of are boring, but we're actually out right now because I'm gonna go pick up some stuff from Party City in North York because I have a campaign with them and we have to do curbside pickup to grab some things that we need for our shot. It's actually going to be for a New Year's Eve post, which you guys will probably see in the coming weeks. Oh no, actually within like less than one week I think it might go up. So you guys will see it then, but if you're watching this video first, you'll get a heads up as to uh, the campaign that's gonna be going live. It's really exciting. I have some really fun thoughts and ideas. Couldn't be shooting a reel for it. And I can't wait to actually shoot and execute it to share with you guys. But we are just driving up right now. If you guys have watched this far, then you'll know that we also got into a collision a couple days ago. So we actually have to go get some quotes for the car as well to find out how much uh, it's gonna cost us to get the car fixed. So we're gonna go get our first one today. And then I think tomorrow we're gonna go get like another one or two as well, just to see um, roughly what the, what the damage is like, like literally what the damage is like. And then we go back home today to shoot some content. So today, on the schedule we have Party City to shoot, I have some stuff for Dermalogica to shoot, and I also have the stuff for Majesty's Pleasure that I didn't end up getting to shoot yet because the other days I got just like too excited. So let's go on a road trip up to North York. We have made it to today's destination. So it's gonna go down a little bit in the cold, but as soon as you bring it inside, it'll go back up. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, very nice. Package number dose, the box of decorations. I was gonna say project fit into the trunk, but it's, it's pretty okay so far. Yeah. No strong. Oh, sorry. Good. I need to make hit you in the face. Okay, we're going home. Okay, I felt kind of bad because there's a number you have to call when you get here and I called it twice and both times it says the number was not in service. So I went inside and I was kind of mean to the lady. She's like, no, if the lines are busy, you just gotta wait and it's gonna keep ringing. I was like, it didn't keep ringing. It told me it wasn't in service and it was really sassy, but she turned out to be really, really nice and got the packages for me. So I felt so bad. As you should. So rude. I was like, I don't have the pages for this right now. Can I just pick up my items? <laughs> anyway, so we got our stuff. I, I like, I was really nice to her afterwards. I promise. I was like, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Happy holidays. <laughs> I felt really bad afterwards, but we have our stuff now. Um, it's squished into the trunk and in the back of the car. We're going to go visit the first auto shop to go get our quote for the car. And then we, I think we might stop and do a second one on the way home. No, no, no that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. We're going to pick up a second one tomorrow, maybe two or yeah, Maybe two or three. We'll see. we'll see what happens. Um, but we're just keeping my fingers crossed to make sure that we can get a decent quote. It's not going to be too expensive. Made it to the auto garage. I don't think I showed you guys yet the damage to the car. This is the fun time that we're dealing with. It totally shifted the bumper off the lights and the trunk. And yeah, we're going to see how much it's going to cost to get this fixed. Morning, guys. It is December 15th, but... Oh, we could be in the corner here. So cute. Um, I realized I didn't quite finish off yesterday's portion of the vlog So you're gonna be seeing a little bit of December 15th in the weekly Christmas vlog too So I'm gonna wrap it up and then we are going to start off with the next vlog for week three So yesterday after the first auto shop we went back home did some work and then we had to actually run out to do a second quote as well too The 
first one was like really, really expensive, and the second one was like four to five hundred dollars less. I don't know the very difference here and why. So we're actually gonna go see one more today to see what they are gonna give us. But essentially after that, we just went home and did work. I didn't end up filming my Party City stuff yesterday just because the day got so busy and I had so much stuff that was due that I needed to focus on getting the things that were due first out, which means today the goal is to shoot some Party City stuff. So I actually ended up shooting some TikTok content for Dermalogical last night. So you guys will probably see that up on my account pretty soon within the next like week or so. So stay tuned for that. It was a fun and exciting one. Did a little collaboration with Mel in celebration of the holidays and MBVP. And then after that, um, ooh, <laughs> we had a little bit of an Instagram fiasco yesterday. If you guys are also following me on Instagram, then you may have seen my stories that I put up a post yesterday of myself wearing a mask and I was just telling people that I was excited for the new vaccine because it means that we're finally getting over this whole hurdle and we'll be able to go back to life the way it was beforehand. I guess some people decided to take that into offense, um, anti-vaxxers essentially and COVID deniers and just like came at me and just like shared my post in through their stories, which first of all, um, I hope you know that if you're somebody who does that sort of thing, you are inadvertently giving the person's post and that person that you're sharing more publicity and you're actually spreading their message. So you're actually helping them, just to let you know if we're not aware of that. You're not really doing much of a detriment to them when you're spreading their post onto your account if you don't like their content. The best thing for you to do as a person if you don't like somebody's account is to actually stay silent. Um, not only is it healthy for yourself mentally, but you're also not spreading and giving them more engagement, just FYI, but I don't know, people seem to can't get that into their brains. They were spreading my stuff onto their stories and for some reason it attracted a large community. I don't know if somebody also posted into like a Facebook group or a Reddit thread or something of anti-vaxxers and they just went ham into the comments telling me that I'm gonna die if I get the vaccine. There's like baby fetuses in the vaccine. We demystified a lot of that stuff on my stories last night. Um, that the mRNA vaccine is going to alter your DNA. It was, it was atrocious. So yeah, there was that little fiasco. Uh, I had some people who were on my comments replying back like paragraphs of misinformation and conspiracy theories and false facts for like six hours straight. Like, please find something better to do with your time. Maybe focus on yourself and do some self-improvement or something. I don't know. I don't even have enough time to sleep, let alone have six hours to like leave rude, hateful, negative, mean comments on people's accounts. So there's that. And then I finished editing stuff and went to sleep. And now we are awake, taking Kobe to go get groomed. But that is essentially it for Vlogmas Week 2. Hope you guys have been enjoying the vlog so far. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing Peter Curl's hair. <laughs> that was definitely a fun time. We haven't had the chance to meet the Cheetah Red House or the Shortbread Cookies yet just because we've been so busy filming and shooting content still. This week definitely felt a little bit calmer than the previous week, but it's still been chaotic as usual. We have one more week here in Toronto before we head back to go stay with our family um, for the holidays. We're not really going out and doing anything, literally holding up at home with our family, so that'll be it. I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs. Let me know which day was your favorite thus far, um, and if there's anything specific that you want to see. Also, ask me any questions that you guys may have um, about work life for us <laughs> and what we do, because I would be more than happy to answer. I know that a couple of you have already expressed in the past that you love me to do kind of like a question and answer video as to how I got into vlogging and the work that I do, so I think that'd be really fun. Otherwise, I hope you guys are having an amazing, safe, and happy holidays. Make sure you wear your mask. Don't worry, spreading virus. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.